Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn about different issues in paging. Means, what are the different issues of paging and how to overcome from this issue. So, let us start with the issues in paging. In paging, we are facing mainly two types of issue. First one is the mapping from the virtual address to physical address must be fast, but by using paging, it becomes slow. And second one is if the virtual address space is large, then the page table will be large, so it occupies more space in the memory. Now let us see both the issue in detail. First one is mapping from virtual address to physical address must be fast, but it becomes slow in paging. Let us see how. Suppose this one is CPU. This CPU has generated a logical address. This logical address is divided into two parts. First one is index to one page table and second one is offset this one is page table having three index p1 p2 p3 associated with each page there is one frame this one is memory so initially suppose this index is p2 so what it will do it will find out the index p2 in the page table so this one is the second index so associated with this p2 there is one frame f3 so by combining this frame that is f3 plus this offset that is d you will get physical address and this physical address is there in memory so in this way by combining this frame that is associated with one of the page in page table and this offset we will get physical address but what the problem is here that is for every instruction here the memory reference occur two times means twice first one is here and second one is over here so it reduces the performance by half because instead of referencing once we are referencing twice that's why here the performance is reduced by half so if we want to overcome this problem then we have to use a data structure that is known as tlb that is translation look aside buffer now let us see how the TLB works, how the TLB will increase the performance. Same example, CPU has generated a logical address that is divided into two parts that is the index to page table and offset. Here there is a page table and this one is the memory. Here we have one hardware that is TLB that is translation locus and buffer. So this one is nothing but a hardware and this one is nothing but a data structure. Now here, suppose this one is index P2. So instead of direct searching this index into page table, this index is initially searching TLB, the is translation look aside buffer. If we find this index in translation look aside buffer, then appropriate frame will be found from here. And by combining this frame F3 and this offset, you will get physical address here this one is hardware so this hardware is faster than this data structure that is page table that's why execution will be faster than data structure that is page table now suppose another address in which here the index is p3 now initially it will find out this index in tlb that is translation locus at buffer but this index is not available in tlb so in such case this index will be searched over here in page table so first time every index is searched in tlb if that index is not available in tlb then and only then search will be goes into page table now here p3 is available in page table so associate with this page there is a frame f1 so by combining f1 and this offset we will get here physical address now this p3 is available in page table that is on third index so as soon as we use this page from the page table again this entry will be inserted over here in tlb so that in next instruction or next time we will get this page or this index from translation locus at buffer itself so in this way we can increase the performance of our virtual address to physical address conversion now let us move further what happened when a virtual address space is larger in case of paging so if the virtual address space is large 
then the page table will be large. Two different ways to deal with the large page table problem. First one is multi-level page table and second one is inverted page table. Now let us see how both the techniques will work. Here first one is multi-level page table. Now let us see how multi-level page table will work. Again here same example CPU that generates address that is logical address. Here your logical address is divided into three parts. First one is offset itself. Second one is PT2 that is of 10 bit then after PT1 of 10 bit. Here this one is the main page table and again these are the three sub page tables. Here this page table is having only pointer to all these sub page tables. Now how the mapping will be done? How your virtual address is converted into physical address? Initially this one is the first that is the leftmost 10 bit that points to a index in this main page table. So here two, so it points to the second index in the main page table. So in this page table, the second index will point to the second sub table or second sub page table. Now this 10 bit that is PT2 again this indicates an index in sub page table. So here it's P2. So in this page table, the page that is P2 that is index P2 that points to a F202 frame. So by combining this F202 plus this offset, you will get a physical address and this physical address is there in memory. So in this way, multi-level page table can be used whenever your address space becomes large. Here instead of using only one page table, we are using a main page table with a various sub page tables. Now next move further inverted page table. What is inverted page table and how it works? Suppose here current process ID is equal to 245. We are having two different parts that is offset and left hand side that is page number 2. Means our logical address is divided into two parts offset and index that is page number 2. Now by using hash function it will find out the page number 2. So here there are two entries frame number, page number, process id and point these are the four columns of this table. Now it will find out in this page no number column there are two entries for page number 2. So find out page number 2. So first of all first index having page number 2 but the process id is equal to 211. So process id do not match with this 245. This 245 and 211 is not match. So follow chaining pointer. So now this index points to this one the fourth index that is the fourth row. Again here it will check whether this process id is matched with this process id. Yes process id is matched. So frame number that is this one is the frame number that is added to the physical address at here. So frame number 4 plus this offset that is copied as it is. So by combining this frame number and this offset we have created a physical address. So in this way inverted page table will work. Thank you very much.